Hi ladies. Like a treat. Give it a few space. It's fine. Good morning. Part-time weekend rancher out here again. One big happy family. Crossing over the board fence. Today, we're gonna try to move the three ladies. There's two over there, one behind the hay bale. Over the creek to go join the big herd. There's a couple of deer in there too. And then clean up the maples like we did last year and we got our help Stella and Joshua and just uh, weed whack around them clean them up and get them ready for the springtime it's a little cold this morning but not too bad all right Joshua all right let's get to it mm. keep going left there you go ease up there they go. Uh, they could run. Let's see. Let's see if they figure it out. Nah. They might. Yeah. Let's see. They might. Oh, oh. As long as one goes, I think the other ones will go too. There goes one. If one goes, Stella, wait. If one goes, the other one should go too. That's Rucker in the background barking. He wants to be out here with us cowboying. Oh no. Let's see. All right, we push these two out. I think they see the herd. Let's see if they figure it out. Yeah. Come on, ladies, make a left turn. Go with your friends. Come on. Someone initiated. Come on. There they go, there they go. Oh, look at them. Uh oh. They don't like the new ones. Here we go. I think it's working. See if we can get behind them and close the gate. Nope. All right, there goes one. There goes two. There you go. There's the herd. All 24 of them. Let's see how they like their new friends. So we got the ladies over. So that's done. Now we uncovered another problem. If you notice, it's extremely wet here. Yes, we've had some rain, but this is a little too excessive and it's isolated to one area. See? And it seems to be stemming from here. You can see that. There's water coming out. I need to take this cap off. And three feet down is a line with the cutoff valve that runs all the way over there to the watershed. So it looks like that line might have frozen or cracked and it's bleeding over, which is not good because that feeds the trough. Now the trough has water, but we're just leaking water here, which is not good for two reasons. One, it's just running constantly, making the pump run. And two, it's just a waste of water. All right, so I took the cap off and it is completely full, as you can see. <clears throat> the valve's in there. I need to go get the T-handle to shut the valve off. And if the line froze, we're gonna have to figure out where it froze, dig it all up and replace the line, which is not cool. <sighs> Just another issue to deal with. Yeah. Yes, it's, it's, it's coming out. out of the thing here, so. 
All right, so change of priorities. I don't think we're gonna get to the maples and clean them up. The valve to the trough is leaking pretty bad. We took the cover off as I showed you and it is still just leaking. So we think we have a bad valve. I am at the watershed and I think I need to shut off one, the pump, the water pump, and then two, the main valve for the water, which means we're gonna shut the water off for the rest of the troughs and the cows won't have any water until we try to figure it out and fix it. So that's now the priority. It's just a part of ranching. That's how it always is. Something comes up and you gotta deal with it. And this is more important than cleaning up the maples. All right, so we dug a hole with uh, the bucket. The skid steer is still not working. And I don't wanna go too deep. Because I don't want to hit the line because then that will make it even worse. So I'm going to try to get to that valve and see if we can figure out what the issue is. But there's a lot of rock here too. So it doesn't make it too easy. Alright, so there's the problem. Seems like it broke off right at the valve. So I have to unscrew it. Unscrew the whole thing because I think it goes into here. There's no way I'll be able to turn it around. So I'm going to have to undo all this. Take off the main valve, I think. Also from the back side. And I uh, guess just get another ball valve. But it broke off right there and that was the issue. So it was just completely leaking. That's supposed to be attached right there. So either it shrank or it froze. And anyways, that's the issue. So I think we solved it. Now I gotta just figure out how to fix it. So we dug a bigger hole. <laughs> this is JC's plumbing at its best here. We took the valve off. I think it goes the other way. I think it goes like that. And then it was going like this. So it broke off because it's supposed to be one piece. See the connection there it was actually a little easier unscrewing it. Jen and I think her dad are going to go in and try to go get another one. And then the plan is to just screw it back on and reconnect it. And hopefully that works. Back at it again. Second trip to the hardware store. This time we got ourselves a torch to try and uh, get the pieces in. What's going on? That's halfway. That's a, yeah, the plastic sticker is the midway point. Shut off. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Alright, once we've put that coupler on, he's now putting on the clamps. Two on each side. Not an easy place to work, is it? Keep it on. Okay, keep it on. There. All right. So oh, that little... worked. Okay. Right. I'm shutting it off. We're good, yeah. Okay. 
Can you explain, honey, what we ended up having to do? So it looked like the ball valve went bad. It cracked right here and came off and started leaking. So we changed it out. We couldn't get, I guess, the insert or the nipple that had barbed or threaded in. So we had to cut a new piece of pipe, reattach that threaded barb coupler in there or nipple, and then put another coupler in between these two to connect that line. So everything's been replaced. We need to go pressurize the line, open up the valve and see if it works and there's no leaks before we dump all the dirt and gravel back on and refill it and then also put the little plastic cap back up here and make sure that it's good to go and we can turn on and off the valve. All right, we're opening the valve. Uh, we've already opened it a little bit, let the air out. Jen's holding the ball valve or the plunger or whatever you want to call it. Float. The float in the water trough. It's not leaking. I don't know if you can hear that. It's pressurizing. All right, it's fully open. There's no leak. That's water coming out of the trough. Which will show. Coming out. There we go. Dirty. It's dirty. We still have the plug out, so it's actually draining out. I'm Maybe sure there's going to be some sediment in there. It's clean so. now. Is it? Yeah. Uh, you want to hold the ball up and not put the plug in. We have put the pipe back in. We filled around it to hold it in place, and now we're going to go ahead and uh, fill the hole back in, or <laughs> the trench back in. I think it's done pretty good. It's full. Yeah, it's full. Okay, so that's good. That's good. No leaks. All right, we're all good to go. Like it didn't even happen. All right. So we're done for the day. We beat the sun. It's setting behind us. The tractor's all dirty. The cows want sweet feed. I think I'm ready for a margarita. <laughs> it's been a heck of a day. It's been an all day project. Was not expecting this. Two margaritas. Two margaritas. Uh, one, one, two for Jennifer, one for me. <laughs> uh, all right. I think we're gonna call it quits. I need to take a shower. Like usual, I'm always dirtier than everyone else. Don't know why. But uh, till next time, keep fighting time, Mother Nature, and plumbing issues. <laughs>